I want to add luggage racks to my 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee, so I headed off to the salvage yard to get some. These are T30s. Sorry about the broken camera lens cover. There's two of them. There's another one uh, right back there. And I'm not quite sure how this cover comes off, so I'm going to be careful not to break it. Actually, I'm grabbing a couple, so this is the second that I'm grabbing here. Okay, so here's the roof rack, and uh, this says it's the front. Now I'm trying to remember. I think the long ones, these long pieces go on the, I think the long pieces go on the back, and the uh, short ones go on the front. I'll verify that before I start disassembling it. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any difference in the bars this looks the same so when I take it apart it doesn't matter which one's left and which one's right and uh, I'm gonna pull these plastic ends off and then uh, I'm gonna get these off and then I'm gonna paint these paint these uh, racks up so let's do that now I want to paint the metal uh, before I put it back together and clean up the plastic so I've already cleaned these up washed them in the sink and put armor all on them uh, so it is the short one on the front and there's a long one I didn't notice when I took them off that they were two different sizes so the long one goes in the back so I'd like to clean this rack up and hopefully it will all look like this when I'm done and then I'll repaint the, repaint those pieces um, it should look pretty nice uh, so we'll repaint these um, the crossbars this is like an aircraft wing except it's got this ridge here so that ridge of course will be towards the front and this is thicker and this is thinner much like an aircraft wing uh, thinner edge back here thicker here but with this ridge which wouldn't work on an airplane wing now i was at the salvage yard these fell off so i think let me see i think you pull down and pull forward there's a tab in the back uh, back here that will pull out and then we'll just pull forward let me try that I want to be gentle not to break the plastic but this tab fits in the hole here Let's see if I can show it yep yeah, right there and uh, then it pulls forward there's this tab right here that hooks over the end so that's going to be the front uh, front left or front right I should say front left yeah, front passenger front driver and those are the uh, those are the shorter uh, ones I don't know if they're gonna all look the same we'll pull them off and see what they look like interestingly and not on the front but in the back there was a plastic rivet right there so I could put that on I'll just have to get plastic rivets but that was here this is the other um, so that would have gone in this back hole here. Uh, odd, because I didn't, uh, I did not see that on the front. So let's, this is the longer one from the back. And as you can see, it is longer than the front ones. Let's pull that other one off. Let's look at the other one. Uh, it's got that plastic rivet. I don't know if you can see it very well right there. Uh, that is a different kind of rivet that I wouldn't be able to, uh, I'd have to put something different in. There is something that they've put in from, somehow from the top, uh, to click in there. Anyway, it's like a rivet. Got the sun on there, you can see that rivet a lot better. So that's the rivet. I was able to punch out the center of that rivet, just push it forward. That's what this rivet looks like. So it looks like it it uh, pulled that in and then uh, it was cut off or broken off flush with the, uh, with the end. So you can't replace it with the same one, but um, 
you know, there's probably something that you can get different. I'm not sure you need it once it's all bolted down with all the bolts to the uh, roof, but that was on the rear. We'll clean these up and uh, arm all of those and then let's get the uh, crossbars off and see if there's a difference between the front and the rear crossbar. Of course, we simply loosen these, um, which lowers this uh, clamp, essentially, and they slide right off. I'd like to clean up this metal and paint that too. I don't care about painting the plastic. So we're answering lots of questions. It looks to me like the rear one is a little bit shorter than the front. So this says front, front, this rear one is just a little bit shorter. If I line those two up, then these two are not even. So let's clean and get ready for paint. I don't know whether this will come off. If it does, I'd like to get it off because I wouldn't mind cleaning up and maybe even painting the clamp. Uh, I don't really want to paint the plastic, but I can. Uh, I gotta get the uh, moss or lichen that is grown on it off of there. So all you have to do is unscrew this, take the clamp off, and the end pulls right off. So we'll be able to clean up these ends. I'll be able to clean up and paint these and, uh, and clean the knob, clean this, and then I can paint just the metal. So to show you. I really should invest in a holder for my iPhone, I guess. So I can use two hands. This comes off. See this clamps over here, and that's what clamps it down to the bar. It has a tab there that goes into these holes for positioning. The cross rail, or on the side rail, and now this will pull right off. Do it one handedly. And we'll clean that up. Then we can paint all these bars very easily today. The uh, bottom of the crossbars are labeled front with that edge that I was talking about, that, that lip. Um, so. Just regular dishwater to clean them up. Just let them soak a while in some hot water. Just soak. I scrub them. Get those clean. Meanwhile, I'm going to get the other stuff ready for paint by washing it outside. Washing all the metal pieces outside, there is a uh, plastic piece right here that looks like on the uh, side rail goes down you can see it here it goes down the middle of each and there we go let's get this one out it's folded with the corner down here uh, on the uh, part that's closer to 90 degrees the inside i guess we would say uh, i'll pull these out so we can clean them up a little bit but probably just help keep dirt out i don't know all right, I got everything drying out here in the sun. It's a uh, fairly warm today. I hope I'll be able to paint today because it's going to be sunny today and rain starting tonight, all weekend, all the rest of the weekend. But that's the goal. I'm going to wire brush, wire wheel these parts right here before painting, and I'll probably lightly sand the uh, other parts. I mean, really, these side rails, I guess we'll call them, aren't so bad except for that one area and then I noticed I think it's on the short rail no it must be on the long one the front well it doesn't look like it's bad I thought there was a bend in it uh, I think it's okay maybe it was just water they look right oh, maybe it's this top one yeah right here that's a little bent but it should be okay. Let's go back inside and clean up the plastic. Finish cleaning that up. 
All right, the plastic pieces are clean and they're drying. I'm gonna hit them with uh, Armor All and these screws I'll probably hit with uh, some WD-40 right before we install them. So uh, next I'll be doing the wire wheel and then we'll be getting ready to paint. These things are all almost dry. I'm hitting this, uh, you know, these cross rails and the metal parts with the lightest stuff I had, which was this P150, but it's probably a little, maybe a little too aggressive. Wish I had some 200, but since I don't, I'm just doing it lightly. Um, gives the paint something to stick to, and uh, then we'll paint it. Just will make a note on these crossbars. There's a uh, plastic strip here that I just stayed away from as far as sanding goes, but... Uh, I will paint it obviously I'm not going to tape it up or anything so these things are ready to go uh, I'm going to paint these so that while these are drying I can uh, wire wheel the other parts and we'll paint those as well there's two kinds of paint I like to use this I have used on racks before on the uh, Jeep Liberty but um, I feel like it is you know it's for trim or bumpers so um, you know it could be good for those plastic parts but this paint is what I really like to use on the uh, like suspension parts that I've painted up I just think it's a really good durable paint obviously it's good up to high temperatures this is black color um, so I'm going to uh, uh, use this to uh, paint these parts and uh, see how it looks see if I can do it one-handed for the video just so you can see it go on oh yeah looks very nice I'm gonna do light coats, so I'm gonna come back and do another coat after this. Definitely gonna need another coat, um, you know, for that area and the front of this, you know, where that was worn off. But one coat looks good. I will probably let that dry, flip it over, do the back, um, you know, the bottoms, and then flip it again, do another coat on here. Maybe two or three. Uh, it's gonna rain in about four hours, five hours, so I need to get moving especially if I'm going to remove the parts from the top of this and attempt to get them on today these things don't really look too bad and just try to get a quick video of what I'm doing and uh, show you how I'm cleaning them up better let's clean it up a little more and then uh, we'll paint them just a quick note I've discovered uh, the square around the tab for holding the racks down on the bar that's rubber which makes a lot of sense I haven't messed these up really too bad but you can see uh, started to tear it up a little bit there uh, with the wire wheel because I didn't know what it was but now I do show you what I've done real quick is I couldn't find my painter's tape but I used a little Gorilla Tape just to lightly put over those uh, rubber pieces and uh, put some paper in the uh, screw hole and uh, those should paint up real nicely. So we'll start with, start with the back. That would be the uh, side that would be underneath facing the car. This is the uh, bottom side of these parts, crossbars and the parallel bar. I don't know what you call them. This is all I'm doing for armor all is trying to get some on there. And uh, I guess eventually this rack will get saturated, but I want to get plenty on the I want to get plenty of armor all on the plastic part. These can be painted, but they've cleaned up pretty nice. Now I'll just be armor rolling all of that. This is the kind of burnt out look that it has. So I'm hoping the armor all might help uh, restore some of the plastic. Um, Keep it strong, but also make it look a little better. Let's show you what it looks like when we 
rub that off. This looks a little newer, not quite so burned out from the sun. If it doesn't look great, we'll just paint it. Yeah, I got all these parts uh, cleaned up, and I think they're probably good enough. I'm not going to worry about painting them, but, you know, you can see they've been baking in the sun. That's what they do up there on the roof. The armor all just, I guess, maybe helps the plastic a little bit, um, conditions it, maybe refurbishes it. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't do anything. It looks nice. Next step will be to take these off with the Torx bit. And uh, I think there's maybe something under there, sticky, that we're going to have to get off with the uh, eraser wheel. We need to get those off to get ready. Um, and remembering from before, this is a T30. Let's get them started and then maybe come back with the drill. I don't want to strip them. You can see here it's stuck down with some gunk and what I'd like to do maybe is take a scraper down it to try to scrape it so that it sticks to this and not to the not to the car uh, but we'll have to wire we'll have to eraser wheel it off um, but here are the little bolts that connect to that let's get the rest off like they've got a little bit of Loctite on them. Maybe blue Loctite. Okay, what you've, uh, what you've got is a plastic channel glued down. And once you get it going, you can get this out of the plastic channel. And so now I'll just worry about getting the plastic channel up, which is uh, right there, which is what's glued down. Then we'll clean that up. We got those off. Um, while I clean everything up, and maybe use a little water. I want to put these screws back in the holes to keep water from going down in there. I'm not going to intend to spray water on the top of this car. I'm just going to use a sponge, but that'll help keep it out for the most part. I've got it down to that lock tight. So I'll do that on each corner before I start cleaning it up. Um, but once I clean this up, then I can use the eraser wheel to try to get the rest of the sticky stuff off. I've done this before in a video. I'm going to use two hands and really get after it, but hopefully that's going to help get this stuff off. I looked for a plastic, uh, not knife, but a plastic, uh, you know, scraper, and I can't find one. That would be very helpful. Anyway, let's see what we can do. The eraser wheel is pretty great, and it's coming off. So, uh, just battery died. Need to. Recharge it because uh, we have two batteries charging it. Sorry, CarMax. Getting ready to wash it off. Wiping it down, there's probably some lines I'm never going to be able to get rid of, but. I do want to try to get most of the sticky stuff off. Uh, there's just paint color where that strip was. It's uh, it's hard to tell in the video probably, but it's a little bit different. It hasn't faded over the years, that's why. And then all this marks around the edge, that's probably never going to come out. But we can uh, scrub a little more. This is the sticky stuff I'm going to hit one more time with the eraser wheel. Try the other side off. Looks pretty good. Most of the sticky stuff is gone on this side. Let's get the other side. Wash it one more time. Perfect is the enemy of the good, so I'm not going to do too much more. But I think it looks really good. So, wind's starting to pick up here. Clouds are, have been, it's been overcast, but not stormy looking. But the wind's picking up. I don't know when it's going to rain. Uh, you can see it's much shinier in this strip. and I'm not going to be able to get that line off. But even if that's there when the bar is there, hopefully it'll fade as we wash it. So I'm going to pull those screws out in just a second and put the rack on. But first got to reassemble the rack. 
And the first thing I'll do is hook these back up. This is the front, front arrow pointing to the front. And uh, I'm gonna put some uh, WD-40 on these threads, just to lubricate them a little bit. And then, uh, of course, our newly painted uh, clamps will go on there. They'll go this way. So um, let's get those hooked back up. So now I'm gonna clamp the ends on these uh, I guess these are the, uh, not the crossbars, but the parallel bars. I noticed this triangle on them before and that pointed backwards, which I thought was strange. And uh, here's a place where there was missing paint. I remember that was at the rear, but these are two separate part numbers. And the holes here look like they're for the bigger attachment. The holes here are for the smaller one. So they are two different, they are not interchangeable. I put the plastic pieces back inside. Uh, you can see the tabs are covered. And uh, let's put the long pieces, these long pieces on the rear. Uh, this one is gonna go here. And this one will go. Gotta find the tab. Sorry, I'm not holding the phone right. That one will go right there. Now remember, this is the one I don't have the, uh, there was a piece uh, right here that was like a additional holder, uh, and I don't have that, but I don't think it'll matter once these two bolts are in. All right, um, I know I just put those on, but you know what, I probably ought to put the crossbars on first, so let me do that. Now that I've squeezed those on there, they appear to be the same length. So obviously they move what? in and out. There's everything pretty much together, but you know what? I would suggest maybe you leave these off. These can be put on. This is like a hinge. These can be put on after you get the rails on the car. Side rails, I guess is what we'll call these. So maybe I'll try to get the side rails on first and then just put these on. That's probably what you should do. You might be able to see I can have lightly scratched this up by putting the side rails on first. It's probably another reason to put them on later. Yeah, this is a much smarter way to go. These are the longer screws that I got off the Jeep at the salvage yard. And get it started. I'll finish it with the wrench. I just don't want to, or I'll finish it with the drill. I just don't want to use that. To, don't want to strip it. Now, one thing I didn't talk about is, uh, you know, this has got some type of uh, Loctite on it, but it's probably for waterproofing and uh, you could put Teflon tape on here. And so maybe I'll pull these out and put one wrap of Teflon tape. I'm just not sure that it's uh, needed. Let's see here, right there. That should be the long one on the back, the short one on the front. Okay, now you're on and in place. So let's put the end caps on and then uh, we'll put the crossbars on and we'll be done. Oh, and clips down there. Yeah, this one. One more. There we go. Let's do the crossbars. Now we know how to pull this a little bit. And then 
scratching it all up, but I'm gonna find where it'll click into on one of those notches. There's a notch, and there's a notch. So I wanna move it to a notch so that I don't scratch it up too much. I already scratched it up more than I wanted to. And then we will put the pieces together and it'll be all set. So you can't get this up under there when the rack is on. So I should have put these on before I bolted it down. I could have done it this way. Just needed to put them on before I bolted it down. So I either pull the bolts out or uh, try to pull this out so that I can put this in, slide that in, and then the racks will be on. What a pain. Oh, well, uh, that's probably the way you put them on OEM because you might get these with the rails and not have the racks. You buy these, that would get slid in. So that may be the way I have to do it. It actually comes out super easy if you uh, pick it up and use uh, needle nose to pull it out. I'll show you on the other one. I'll hold it up under like that and insert the uh, the pin right there. You guys can see how I'm doing it. There's a line, let's see if I can block the sun here. There's a line on the roof rack, like this line. It shows you where you should put it to get the uh, clip to go in the notch down there. So we'll tighten it up, make sure it's in the notch, and we'll be done. Maybe I can touch up that paint later. So here, let me show you. You just take your, just take your pliers. I'm sorry, I don't have a stand for my phone. Just push it forward, like that, and pull it out. That was probably poor video quality. Do it again. forward pull it in. that's all you got to do I'll grab these parts and we'll go put it on there we go that's how you do it now everything looks like it's on hope you enjoyed thanks for watching see you next time